Hi everyone, so today's tutorial we're going to look at a triple easel card and it makes a nice statement but it's a beautiful card and relatively easy to make. So it's a twisted easel and I make it out of a normal A4 piece of card. You can adjust the sizes to any card you wish. But let's have a look. First of all, I've got a piece sheet of A4 card and I'm going to fold it in half. There we go, and just burnish. Okay, so there's my base card. And this top piece, I can bring this in and try and keep it beside me. Um, base card here, this top piece is cut into three equal um, pieces. So let's take a look. If we take this, this is 21 centimeters. Um, I will put inches in the top corner as usual. Um, but I know that that is going to divide into three lots of seven centimeter um, panels. So I bring in my trimmer <clears throat> here we go and i've got to extend the arm because i need a 14 measurement as well so i'm going to place this on and i'm going to come in to 14 centimeters okay now I'm going to press down on my trimmer blade and I'm only coming down as far as the center crease. So I come down halfway and back. Now I'm going to move it across to the seven. And again, I'm going to come down as far as the crease. So I'll put that to one side for the moment. So I now have three little legs on the top. Now we need to bring in the scoreboard. And before we do that, I want to just say we're going to score from the top right to the bottom left of each one. So I like to put a little mark in pencil to just remind me exactly which way my diagonal lines are going. So in comes my scoreboard, and it doesn't matter, I'll go on to the centimeter side. I have these black lines down through, which um, give me a chance to do a diagonal line easily. Now, if I flip two legs out of the way, I can put my pencil mark onto there, swivel it round until it matches the black line. Let's get it accurate. There we go. And I'm going to score down with my score tool. Okay. Fold that one out the way and bring the next one up. Now I've got my guide piece here, so I know it's going to be in the right direction on there and center diagonal line. Flick out the next one and line up my little marks here. There. So we now have on the front three diagonal lines all going the same way. So I now want to fold that in and give it quick score. Fold. Yep. Now, if we go back to the front of my card, you can see how my three twisted easel panels are coming along. Okay, so that's that for the moment. And put those flat, open it out, 
and I'm going to cover this surface on the inside of the card. So I've already picked a piece of blue and I'm going to have a fraction of an inch of white all the way around. So because I want to be extra careful about the positioning, I'm going to use the wet glue and it will give me a little bit of time and wiggle room. So turn it round and on we go. Make sure that I'm not interfering with the fold here and that goes beautifully. So when this stands up, you're going to see quite a bit of that inside um, pattern. Right, I'm going to show you how to do a pattern to cut triangles that will go on here. Okay, so let's go for this one. This one is the same width of the card. So if you haven't got 15 centimeters, then you can adjust it. So that's the same width. Now I'm going to just mark this with my pencil. And that will give me a pattern piece that is exactly the same size as that. We're going to adjust it, but don't worry. We're going to start off with the same size there. Okay, I'm going to flick this over so you can see a different pattern and then you're not confused with what's underneath. Now, I want to make a smaller triangle. Okay, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to cut off either half an inch or one centimeter. So this one is fifth, just 15. 15, I'm going to come in one centimeter and cut it one centimeter short on one side, turn it round, and I'm going to take one centimeter off that side. So if we look at the measurement for the whole of this piece, I've now got one centimeter smaller. So I've got half a centimeter all the way around. Now I want to cut a diagonal, but I need it to go the right direction. So I'm going to do from this corner top right to bottom left. Right to bottom left. And that gives me two triangles. One is going to fit in that half. One is going to fit in that half and look at the beautiful edge we have all the way round. Okay, so if you're doing um, imperial, you'll take half an inch off one side, half an inch off the other, and then cut your diagonals. So here's one I prepared earlier. And I have now six triangles. So we're going to fit those on. The other end of the nozzle. Wet glue, you can go right to the point and then you don't get any bits flapping. So there's one. So 
slide into the right position. On if I bring back this one, I've only done one triangle. So I haven't done anything on the back at all, just these front panels. So you can cut down some of the work if you wish. So we're going to fit on six panels. Last two. does have wording on it but they're all in different directions so there's no real right way up okay if you are considering doing these that are going to be directional right then take your two there and mark the direction on there and you'll need three that way and three that way. Okay, so to begin with, be kind to yourself and go with one that isn't directional. So there's my three twisted easel panels. I'm going to look at the decoration. <coughs> Now, it's Father's Day today, so I've pulled out these, which were hunky-dory toppers. One's fishing, golf, football, the leaf rugby. We can always put that inside if we wish. Okay. Now, the secret to putting these on, um, I've got a dark one and two light ones. So I'm going to put the dark one in the middle, two light ones on here. Now, first of all, you need to fit the first one as far to the right as you can without it extending past your twisted easel. So place the glue on the bottom. And I'm going to position that so it's just touching the side of my patterned paper. Okay. I'm going to take the next one now, which is going right on the end. And if we have a look, you haven't got a lot of area to actually glue. So make sure you keep your glue right down the bottom because that one is going to go as far right, as far left, beg your pardon, as you can on there. Okay, and then this one, this is football. I'm going to put it on the lower half because that is going in the middle so that I've got a nice display of my toppers going right the way through, you know, a nice angle. Okay. So on the sheets that I had these on, I've got my various greetings. So I'm going to choose enjoy your day. And I'm going to pop that onto sticky fixes. And I'm going to have that as my middle stopper. So I'm going to have enjoy your day. And I need to twist it so that it's the same direction as my twisted easel. 
I can then choose some others. I'm going to have the cheers to you. I'm going to go top. You can do all sorts of stoppers. Um, on this one, we've used little acrylic flowers. And they have just been raised a tiny bit on sticky fixers. Get this one. Make sure it's in at the right angle to hold your your um, triangle up. And I'm going to finish with let's see what else we've got here. Your my number one. So these are about three centimeter sticky fixes because you need a nice bit that will stop that moving forward. There we go. So on the inside, you've got cheers. To you, enjoy your day. You're my number one. And when this goes on there, it's going to stand up beautifully and display all the different bits. So you've got plenty of room inside to write. So you've got a whole panel down here, or you could put the panel on the back. So there's one for the men, perhaps one for the ladies. And this one hasn't got the um, pattern on the back of the um, triangles. This one's got uh, acrylic flowers. And this one has been double mounted with some um, gold embossed pattern shapes. OK. So that's a nice idea. And if I show you a smaller card, so this one is 15 centimeters square or six inches. If you have six inch square card, you need to come down two inch strips. So let's go to four. It's my center. And two. So each of my strips is two centimeter two inches or five centimeters. There's my three panels. And on this one I just need to go from there to there. So you can adjust using any size um, card that you wish. All you need to do is divide it into three equal portions and then a diagonal line between the two. OK, so have fun. Um, see what you can make and try all different combinations. So have fun. God bless you all.